in this timeline, there was no hell. There was only heaven and earth. Adam never ate the fruit. Lucifer never tricked him to give humans free will. And because of that, they never went to an afterlife. So heaven was just made for angels. And Lucifer would stay a seraphim. And he would give, would have a child named Charlie. However, Charlie never really saw her mother and she didn't know why. It was around 3 billion humans. They all lived in a giant garden. As they never really passed away, they didn't really have kids anymore. As one day we cut to Charlie. Charlie was a few hundred years old. With her bodyguard, Vagus, Charlie said, Have you ever been to Earth? Vagus would say, Why would I? Those humans are dumb. Charlie would say, Maybe, but they look cute. Do you think we can go down and see one sometime? Vaggy would sigh and say, Well, all right. But I'll have to tell, No, let's go invisible. I want to see them in their natural habitats. Humans in this world were kind of like animals. They were watched like a zoo. As Vaggy says, I don't think that's a good idea, Charlie. As Vaggy knew a secret that Charlie didn't. Charlie said, it'll be fine. Please, please. Vaggy could tell her no, but Vaggy secretly had a crush on Charlie. So Charlie would, Vaggy would agree with Charlie. However, as Vaggy turned Charlie invisible, she made sure to be far away from Adam. As in this world, humans kind of have free will and kind of didn't. They can choose what to build, they can choose what tasks they make, but they can't make moral choices. They can't choose to steal from someone or not to, and they can't make super intelligent decisions. That's why heaven always gives them instructions. Of course, there is one glaring exception that Charlie doesn't know about. As Vaggy and Charlie would watch the humans, Charlie would say, wow, they're so interesting. I wish they had free will though. That could be so empowering but oh well as then charlie and vaggy started to walk away charlie would hear laughter as she said oh that sounds like adam the head of the humans vaggy would say i don't think that's a good idea to watch as charlie would go over and watch adam as adam would be playing a video game a video game that wasn't hooked up to anything because well you know heaven has magic so they had a magic video game for him heaven would give him things heaven would make things entertain themselves because without hell and no battle they were kind of bored as charlie would say wait a second how is he smart enough to make decisions in that game that game has right and wrong decisions and good and bad karma as charlie would walk up to adam invisible adam would look and say so another person knows my secret faggy would say he didn't she didn't know you could see her oh my bad Charlie would say, what's going on? Adam would laugh and say, I have free will. The first two humans did. I'm one of them. As in Charlie said, Eve had free will. Vaggy would sigh and say, well, not. Adam would say, you really need to ask your dad about this. Vaggy said, we don't tell anyone. She's literally the daughter of the person who knows. Besides, she needs to know about her own mother eventually. You guys are bad at keeping secrets. Charlie would be upset as she would fly towards Lucifer. As Lucifer would sit down, Charlie would barge in and say, I need to know the truth about my mother. Lucifer would say, I told you, I made you with magic. No, she's a human, isn't she? As Lucifer was shocked that she knew the truth. As Lucifer would say, I didn't tell you because I wanted you to feel safe. I wanted you, I felt like if you knew, this would change everything. And you would get too interested in humans and make a big mistake, a mistake we almost made. As in, Lucifer would take Charlie and show her to Lilith. As Lilith was a human hiding out in heaven, she would say, I also have free will. Charlie would say, I can't believe you kept this from me. I can't believe you lied to me. Why? Lilith would say, so you don't make the same mistake we did. We almost gave all humans free will, but heaven would have thrown us out if we did that. And sin would have been created. Humans could do awful things. Awful things terrible things now heaven is peaceful and it will be for all eternity charlie couldn't believe she heard this they cared more about heaven than these people they cared more about heaven than these innocent humans everyone should have the right to have freedom even if they do bad things with it charlie would run out crying as vaggy would follow her she followed her she would say charlie 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 come back as charlie would look and say no I can't live with them anymore, not after what they've done. They've lied to me, and you lied to me too. Vaggy would sigh and say, I know, but I want to make it right. I know what they're talking about. We can give free will to humans, but if we do this, there will be consequences. Charlie would look at Vaggy and say, I know. As in, Vaggy and Charlie would, would go down to Earth and hide out. 
As Charlie says, so what do you know about giving them free will? As Baggy would tell Charlie about the apple, the fruit of knowledge, that would give them knowledge. However, this was dangerous and would cause a big shift. Heaven was peaceful. Was it really worth giving humans free will just to change all of this? Charlie and Vaggie would, would talk for hours debating whether they should do it or not. And as they kept on talking, Charlie would say, let me show you this. As Charlie and Vaggie would watch humans, they kept on building, but ignorance was not bliss. As they built things, their hands would begin to hurt. They would begin to suffer, and they didn't even know why they were suffering. They would just keep doing it. True, they may not feel too much pain. How it works is, since they're immortal, they simply regenerate, but they still feel the pain. They would keep on going, feeling pain and not even knowing why. That is the ultimate slap in the face to ignorance's bliss. As Charlie would look at Vaggy and say, we have to do this, Vaggy would nod and say, all right, let's give someone the fruit of knowledge. As well, Charlie and Vaggy would walk around. They would find it. They would find the fruit of knowledge. As Charlie would look at it and say, are you sure we should feed this to them? Vaggy would say, I know we should. It's the only way, dear. We have to. If we want them to be free, Charlie and Vaggy would nod. As then they found a human. As they would walk up to him, they would feed them the apple. Nothing would happen at first. But as they left and went back to heaven, suddenly angels would surround them as they lifted up their weapons. As Sarah would go to her, what have you done? Charlie would hold each other's hands as they knew it was now or never. They knew they were going to suffer the consequences together. So they might as well show each other some love. As Charlie always liked Vaggy, and Vaggy always liked her, but this was the first time they ever showed it. As they held hands and stared at each other, they would then look back at Sarah. As then Sarah would show them Earth. Earth was on fire. Everything there was being destroyed. As everything there burnt, Sarah would say, this is what free will does. Charlie says, look, there's still good people there. And new civilization will rise, but it's okay. We can help guide them and help them make their own decisions. Sarah would say, enough. As then she would cast Charlie and Vaggy down to hell. As she would also cast the worst prisoners. Hell basically became their dumping ground where they cast the worst of the worst. And the people they didn't want to be associated with. However, at the beginning, hell would have 5% of the population heaven did. However, Charlie had a plan. You see, heaven made a mistake. A big mistake. For every one person that went to heaven, 20 people went to hell because of their high standards. So because of that, sinners made a big population. And Charlie would pass laws to make sure sinners could be anywhere. And she would train sinners and make them stronger too and give them good jobs and good workforce. This would allow hell's population to start to grow. And the higher ups would start to make hellhounds and other things that could breed extremely quickly. All of this made it so hell's population could grow and eventually rival that of heaven's. Charlie was rebuilding a kingdom. Even though hell was nothing but destruction, even though hell was nothing but garbage, she turned into something beautiful. And her and Vaggy became the queens of hell, and they ruled it. As Charlie became a great ruler, and humans finally got free will. However, with free will came destruction. With free will came war. Was it all worth it? Well, that's not really for me to say. As centuries pass and hell managed to build up to compete with heaven, it would be a Cold War scenario where Charlie and hell had the power to destroy heaven and vice versa. So they would have to compete with people trying to control earth with hell's ideas of freedom and free choice and heaven's ideals of control and take away free will. That way there is no sin. With the ideas of virtue and sin against each other, Charlie would argue that sin is a product of free will, and there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, major sins are bad, but we all sin, and we're all human. Well, Heaven would argue that the only way to stop sin entirely was to join them and to go to Heaven. That's gonna leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you thought of this video in the comments below. I really enjoyed making it. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Making this video was definitely interesting. It was definitely like an, a unique idea. I basically wanted Charlie to take Lucifer's place, but what if Charlie took Lucifer's place wasn't as catchy as what if Charlie was an angel? And I wanted to reveal a time where, you know, I couldn't really do the whole never apple thing. I kind of did that at the beginning, but like, Eve never ate the apple. 
okay, humans don't have free will, everything sucks except for heaven, they're in paradise. I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of it. That's kind of like the whole thing. So I kind of like showed that at the beginning that I made its own story. I don't know. I think I did a good job. Did you do a good job? I mean, do you think I did a good job? Sorry, it's, t I'm tired. It's 4 a.m. here. I could have finished this video early, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if you played CK3. It's a history strategy game. But I just love making Genghis Khan. I've done that like a million times. You're just overpowered as heck and you just like map paint and it's awesome. I just love map painting as Genghis Khan. One of the most fun things in the world. It honestly, I, I think I think becoming Genghis Khan is the most fun thing I could ever do. It's just, it's just amazing. Anyway. Let me know how you're doing down in the comments below. Hope you are doing well. And what's your favorite video game? I'm just I'm curious. Cause like mine is Fallout New Vegas and CK3. They're just amazing games. I just absolutely love them. I can't pick one of the other. What about you? What are, what are your guys' favorite video game? Please let us know in the comments below. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for always being there. You mean the world to me. I can I could never imagine having an audience like you. Peace out.